Hello there, I'm going to be doing another challenge seed that was a failed run that uh, just kind of explain my decisions to see if uh, that help, helps you get to the point where you're more easily to, able to take it on yourself. Um, okay, so we're against the Temperance. Uh, again, just checking the boss here to see what what obstacles we're going to have to deal with. And for the Temperant, that is massive incoming damage from the back line and uh, sapping our damage. So this ritual of battle could be a big part of dealing with that latter issue. And then Gulped and Smoke could be dealing with the former issue. Um, now, we do have to deal with the back line with damage, which currently we only have torches, which is not ideal, but... Uh, we'll see what we're offered on the run. Um, friendly units entered with armored five. Uh, I guess with drags that could be good. Alright. Okay, we have purifying cleanses. Uh, so... Uh, Burn Bright is a viable option, and it seems like it might be good. Uh, we could give it stealth eventually, um, and it'll have massive damage, so I think maybe that is a good option. We have torches to deal with this. I think we might need as much help as we can, uh, uh, so we'll take this money. Okay, so I'm gonna sit up here, and then just kind of stealth it up here. I think it's most important that this guy um, survives. But I also want a second attacker. Hopefully we draw a purifying cleanse. We do. Got a little lucky there. Perhaps I shouldn't have given this guy one. I just wanted to be able to kill extra backliners. So 10 damage, not bad. Um, Kind of like this uh, mitigates uh, some damage and does damage. Two things that are great. Well, stealth tomb is also interesting because we do have the stealth. It kind of synergizes, but it doesn't really deal with the two issues as much. So it would mitigate some of the incoming damage. Um, but if we're stealthed, it's less exciting. I like this a little bit more. Okay, that deals. That's like one round dealt with of the backliners getting cleared. So we do need some backup for the champion. Um, because he will be able to kill one front unit pretty well, but we need an additional heavy unit being killed uh, and supplemented with ritual battle but I would like to get some spell upgrades um, uh, like we have a lot of expensive spells holdover on stealth seems like it's pretty strong and then we need to decrease the cost of this ritual battle 
and I think getting a good torch in here is going to be solid. So we're, we're kind of high on the cost curve right now, but I think it's good in the long run to do that. And I gotta take this trial because uh, getting a secondary unit is very important. And I'm gonna set up where we have the most room to fly in here. I guess I should, should get a train steward in there. Okay. Just get this train steward to do as much damage as possible. And now we get our holdover spell in the last turn, as is typical. Okay, I think we're Blue Flash is pretty strong. Um, do we want to overstack? Maybe. Um, we don't currently have anything to overstack with, but that could change. Um, and because of this holdover stealth, um, we can keep multiple things alive. I like that. And then the Baron. Okay, this is pretty solid, I think. So is Alpha Paint. Um, this is this guy's just a little easier to play. Again, I think we need spell upgrades to make our stuff a little more playable. Permafrost on this hidden passage to just do it on the right turn seems important, and then getting this ritual battle a bit cheaper. Maybe get this torch out of here. Okay, um, the only one I'm considering here is Wax and Rail Spike. Um, this Wax and Spike is just not great because it'll affect units that don't have Burnout, which, like, for example, the Baron um, doesn't have Burnout right now, and that's going to be part of my main plan. Um, this just does so little for the Ember cost, and this is okay. Um, if I happen... So right now, my ember is being taxed because I have to spend one on engulfed in smoke and play out these units and uh, whiplash. But if I happen to draw it on a turn where I'm not spending all my embers, it's pretty good. I think it's worth doing that. Rage is good. This seems like a perfect time to play that. Okay. Um, no reason to worry about that. I'm gonna kill everything anyway. So 
kill that guy. Okay, for now, extension is important. I kind of like the idea of removing Burnout from my champion, um, because then I could drop these Purifying Cleanses. Um, it will also mean dropping Wicklash, which is not a big deal. Um, I kind of like that. And I'm going to take Card Draw. Let's see, let's look at our options here. We have another Remnant Banner. Um, but maybe we could just, um, dupe our Baron. I'm going to take card draw. I want to dupe, I want to make my Baron a little stronger. I don't think it's worth making large, though. Multi-strike and damage is what I'm hoping for. The idea here is I'm going to be able to have a strong enough attack on this Rector Flicker to deal with the front line. And we're going to be able to stay alive with Engulfed in Smoke. So I want this guy to deal with the second unit in the line, and then if I dupe him eventually... Um, and either use Hidden Passage to get the second one in there, or go Capacity, then they can deal with the back line. I think we can handle this. We're gonna need a Train Steward to help out. So I'm going to set him up. Or maybe not. Maybe I can get enough rage on this guy. Okay, I'm going to remove the burnout. And then hopefully get my rage card, and I do. There we go. We're doing fine. Stealth would be good. There we go. Forgot about this guy's effect. No biggie though. Let's see why not bring the train steward up here. You know what? I don't mind a heal. Gain three health. Completely unnecessary. I'm going to skip it. I like money. The second engulfed in smoke is something to consider. Um, like we could either make it free and just supplement it, or give it double stack just to really shore it up. Um, I'll, I'm going to take it. Okay, um, I don't think these make sense. Um, the imp in the box would be good if we could control what imps we got, specifically if we got the molting imps, but I don't like it.
Okay, um, I would love unit upgrades, but it's not an option. So I'm just going to... Oh, Iron Drop Cage is interesting. Uh, we have Hidden Passage, which would trigger it. I'm not sure that's worth it, though, because we're not going to be using it that frequently. So I'm going to skip this. Double stack. So we could double stack this engulfed in smoke and get ridiculous numbers. Um, but I kind of think just getting more rage is going to be helpful to deal with the temperance. So in order to enable that, I'm going to make this cheaper and remove. Cards. Um, I'm going to remove a torch. Spell shield. Kind of think so. With these waves, we have these small guys in the middle, but we also have to deal with this big guy, and we're only really attacking three times. So I think we need to be able to kill things with spells, unfortunately. Extension here, can you see spell shield to bring the safe? Okay, let's do that. And then we don't need any burnout anymore, yay! Um, let's get you out of there. Stealth Rage. Stealth Rage. Stealth Stealth. Resin Remove. Okay, so this card removes sap. So it's really strong, I think. And we're not doing anything with armor. We have one imp, so this is going to not come into play. Removals or upgrades? So, we don't have much money is the problem. So I think removals are going to be more impactful right now with not having much money. So let's remove a train steward and a train st uh, let's remove a torch. That was a scary last fight because we didn't draw a burnout card until the last turn where we needed it. So I want to make sure we trim our deck even more if we can. I'm going to reduce the cost of this resin removal. I'm going to play it every time we draw it. And make this torch consume. So that we're drawing into our rituals of battle uh, more frequently. I don't think we need those. We're fine on fire health.
this fight is kind of a pain in the butt. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm going to sit up in the middle here so that we deal with these guys a little sooner. Do you think we want the stealth? Fortunately, that is going to take up all of our ember um, on every other turn. I think we should be okay though. Um, we're gonna do this. This rage. Get rid of that. Yeah, we're doing just fine. Send imp, it's normally very good, but we only have one imp, and it's not really part of our main game plan, and we're not doing anything with armor or reforms. Okay, so, uh, I'm torn between Ember and Draw. Draw would mean we get into our resin removal more frequently, into our, our rituals of battle more frequently, um, but Currently, we're spending one ember a turn on engulfed in smoke, and then we have a couple. We have these that cost ember, and then um, engulfed in smoke, and all of our other units that cost ember. So, we're not going to be able to remove everything. So, I'm going to actually take ember here. And I'm going to. Look for an upgrade for the Baron. Another multi strike seems solid, and then now I can duplicate it um, over here. Let's remove a train steward and. I think a train steward. Is that or a purifying cleanse. But the purifying cleanse is still pretty good safety. Um, in case I draw it before this Wickless and group recruitment. So I'm gonna remove a train steward. Let's eat it. Enhance a train steward. So now we just have the only things that are real problems in our deck are these burnout extension cards which I can't play once I play this Wickless recruitment. And we'll go for Burn Bright. I don't think this is worth the hassle. Um, I, I do want the money but uh, we're not going to be able to deal with the first wave consistently.
I think just getting, uh, getting this guy up here. Let's get this guy. There we go. Here's our stealth. Okay, these guys are happy in the butt. Steal you up a little bit. Just in case our stealth wears off, let's go. Let's get you upstairs. Stealth. Stealth, stealth. Rage. Don't think we need more stealth cards. Let's go over here. I think we do still want to dupe our uh, our bearing just for as much damage as possible. Maybe reduce the cost of this involved in smoke. We can't afford any artifacts, so I didn't even look. Um, Assuming that's good. Reducing the cost of this engulfing smoke to zero, and then we have a pretty small deck. Uh, we have these burnout extension cards um, that I can't really remove, but um, we have a small enough deck, I think it's fine. So we're going to go over here. So we've dealt with the back line for the first couple waves. And you can live around. Why not? You're dying. So, I'm actually going to save stealth for you. Passage going. There we go. Let's keep you going. And I don't know. Let's do that. I think we're in a pretty solid position. Especially once we get this resin removal. I guess might as well start giving range to the back guy instead. Some stealth. Um, I don't know. Let's get rid of your burnout. Okay, 
rage back here. We still put the rage back here. I guess we're since we have all these burnout extensions, we might as well just boost you. Rage back here. The reason I want it in the back is he's going to survive the longest, um, and. Uh, there would be reasons to put it in, in other spots, but he has three times multi-strike as well. So it's one of these two guys to get the most value out of it, but um, since he's going to last a little longer, might as well give it to him. And we don't really want to spread it around too much because Rage wears off, so it's less efficient to do that. Um, Resin removal. Move in out and a Okay, I don't know if that was helpful, um, but uh, mainly uh, just kind of planning the whole run around Seraph is what the name of the game of Monster Train is, I'd say. Um, like at lower difficulties you can you don't have to do that necessarily but at higher ones you do and so what does that mean for this one i'm just going to repeat it um uh this seraph has two issues that i like to plan for one is sap is going to reduce your damage by a lot so by picking a champion that does a ton of damage and then using these two uh rituals of battle that we started with that can increase your damage by a lot uh, so that deals with um, the lack of damage because you get sapped um, and baron scales pretty well because we're killing everything in one lane and getting three times multi-strike means that rage goes further and then resin removal was kind of like um, icing on the, on the cake because it removes all of the sap buffs, uh, debuffs, so um, you have full attack values. Um, and the other in problem that we had to deal with is backliners with large amounts of incoming attacks, so defensively we got this engulfed in smoke uh, to protect us, and I put it on holdover. Um, I believe this was ring one that we got it, or we started the game with it, so the, t the cards that I relied on we started the game with so um, it's not like we had to hope for them we started the game with them and we got it in holdover and then uh, I saw that you know we had hidden passage so that I liked the idea of getting uh, some more damage out there I was concerned we had enough damage we had enough defense but the main thing I was concerned about is actually killing the backliners which we weren't necessarily going to do. So that's why I wanted to plan for the second Baron um, so that we didn't have to rely on drawing torches um, to deal with them. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, I would, again, I would be happy to do a joint run with you and uh, we can talk through decisions if that would be interesting. And I think that other viewers might find that interesting because you're, you're certainly not the only one struggling with the game um, and uh, it sounds like you really wanted to make it work we were just really frustrated at the wall that you've hit and so I'm hoping that we can help you get you past the wall or if it can help you identify that it's not the game for you